Because we've got a climate activist, uh, Tim you, Spears, who's joined us. Um, look, Tim, I, I mean, I genuinely believe that you have a right to protest, but I've got significant concerns about the, the harassment of people, criminal damage, abuse. I mean, remember, Just Stop Oil um, demanded that Britain uh, abolish democracy, abolish independent courts, abolish independent media and create a supreme Soviet to meet by, what was it, five o'clock on one Monday? I mean, that's not something that I think talks to you being a democrat well they're actually upholding democracy because in a democracy you can protest the government that's failing its citizens and this government is completely failing its citizens can it's, i tell tim um, just a matter of interest mm -hmm. if i don't like your behavior as a climate protester can i pour paint over your head at your house uh, i mean you can you're free to do whatever you like my so friend. you think that's I mean, acceptable like a, do you well, i mean i'm happy I to do it to try it out what would your point of your protest be? The point of my protest would be that it would be a counter-protest against the protests that are disrupting Britain. But but if you were going, say, as an example, to a protest and I was to come with some orange paint and pour it on your head, wouldn't that be an appropriate response uh, based on the morality that you have? Not really, because the, the reason that we're protesting is we're trying to convince the civilization not to collapse itself. Uh, yes, yeah. so itself. Your, your issue's more important than mine, I see. Obvi I obviously, we're talking about the future of civilization right. here. Mr Spears, you have I've just declared your hand very, very early on into this interview, because when Andre talked about the completely fanciful notion of pouring paint over your head, you turned around and said, you can do what you like. Well, clearly, that's your mindset. And do you know what? There's a raft of legislation being passed by a, democ by a democratic parliament that says you can't do what you like. Well, I, I, I mean, um, I mean, I'm saying, like, yeah, people are free to do what they like, but the people within Just Stop Oil will be campaigning in a non-violent manner. They'll be uh, carrying out their acts of civil resistance non-violently. Like, you've seen the uh, multiple clips now of um, members of the public... But it's property, oh, not... It, it, so they're not. I violent. mean, it's not violence, but I mean, I, no. I actually, I actually think. Look, if, if you're talking about you, 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 you put, you draw a distinction between violence and harm. Actually, if I'm in an ambulance with uh, my brother who's been run over, and you will not, and th that ambulance is unable to get through your protest, the harm done to my brother is more significant than if you'd slapped me, right? Clearly, so harm and violence are not necessarily the same thing. So every, every time Just Stop Oil takes to the streets, they will always let an ambulance through. If and they can, we, after no, no, they've no, shut every the single road. Time. No, um, the ambulance service multiple times have always released statements saying that no JSO um, disruption um, has caused any significant but, delay to their to ambulances. Explore, Tim, what I want to explore is this, right, and, and, and I, I don't believe you'll be able to answer this question, but let's just, let's just have a go, right? So you're talking about the right of criminal damage. You're talking about the right to do whatever you want, quote unquote. You're talking about the right to throw paint on people. At what point does your cause become important enough to be able to throw paint all over people? Imagine I was angry about VAT uh, levels. Would I be able to throw paint all over the Chancellor? If I disliked uh, the first past the post electoral system, would I be allowed to throw paint all over the returning officer of my local... Uh, local area um what at what point does does your right to criminality become a legitimate protest well i mean again I like that. i said earlier you um you are free to protest in any manner that you no no protest. i just want to know you're not, I, you're not. You're I just want to know. I just want to know where is the line because you said. Remember, let's remember. We can re we can replay the interview. You said that my protest of pouring paint over your head, whilst you said you can do anything you like, wouldn't be justified because I was protesting against you. Whereas your pouring paint on stuff is justified because you're saving the planet. I'm asking no. you where the line in the middle is drawn. Well, no, no, you're twisting my words. I'm I not said twisting your words. You literally said no, my no, cause no, no, is more important. On. No, 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 no. I said um, your your protest we could be completely pointless you're shooting the messenger instead of listening to the message no no, no. i'm asking this, you where is uh, the line where is the line i don't like peter's time am i allowed to throw paint all over him uh, and, and at what point does illegitimate protest through criminality become legitimate protest via criminality because let's be clear you are committed to crime you are committed to committing crime in order to uh, to put your point across now you say it's because you're saving civilization i'm saying well maybe i believe in saving civilization by throwing paint over the returning officer of my area for his failure to campaign against the first past the post system where is the line and i would suggest the problem is that the line is wherever you put it 
right? So a Supreme Soviet is acceptable when you say it's acceptable. Throwing paint is acceptable when you say it's acceptable. Criminal damage is acceptable when you say it's acceptable because you are a crazed narcissist who just believes you have a right to do whatever the hell you like and you don't care about the law, you don't care about the rules, you don't care about democracy. I think you're a very, very, very crazed and offensive uh, anti-democratic demagogue. Boom. Fair enough, mate. I mean, I don't even know who you are. We've never met each other before, so it's quite, in, that's quite just, a statement. She just um, don't even know who you are, do you there? Did you hear that? Um, <laughs> does now. We are literally... Um, um, our, our government is licensing 100 new... No, no, but I asked projects. you where the line was. And Peter, yeah, the, the line is wherever he says the line is. No, okay, me, well, the, because... The, uh, the line is non-violence. The well, line is non-violence. The line is highlighting this urge. We are sleeping, walking... Sleepwalking into Sleeping extinction. Walking. We're sleepwalking into I think extinction. I've lost I, um, I'm picking up on Mr. Spears's "you can do what you want" line um, quote. So now, because you don't like my tie, okay? I mean, when, I do. I was just no, 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 no. no <laughs> it's it's too late now. Okay. <laughs> when this up. show finishes, I am going to slow walk around the lift lobby entirely yep. and prevent you from getting in a lift going home yep. until you like my time. That's right. Yep. That's exactly the because same thing. Because I can do what I want. Or, sim yeah. or similarly, what you could do now is you could you could, you could could shout an protest. offensive word to end this broadcast, which you have the power to do, right? Yeah. We, are, we, we beg you not to do it, but you could do it. You could destroy this broadcast now because you were angry. Now, I would say what that does is it re removes the right of people to listen to the debate. Now, Tim, Tim, look... Um, I just want to ask you another question here, which is which is this: What safeguards do you have in place? We've we've established that you believe in criminality. We've established that you believe that as long as it's non-violent and in favour of uh, your views on climate, it's okay. But but what if somebody comes to you and says we want to plan to fertilise a bomb? You want to what? Sorry. What, you, what was the question? Well, what 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 if somebody says I want to plan to fertilise a bomb? But you know, at what at what point does does is your what what's your limit? My line is non-violence. I am okay. willing to non-violence. So what if the bomb did no damage you to 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 We've to, got to we've got Susan on the line from Sorry. Exeter. Susan, hi. Do you, I believe you want to speak to um, our uh, guest. Hello, Dan. Hello, hello, Daniel. hello, Andre, hello. and hello to your guest. Tim. And this boy, Tim, uh, let me tell you something, Tim. I've been around and I've mixed with people from all levels of life and the British public will hate you because you're behaving like a bloody spoilt brat. That's... I mean, we're not trying to win a popularity contest. We're well, trying to convince the civilization not to collapse itself. <laughs> but I, but we actually, are trying Susan, to Susan, can I ask you this question? Susan, can I ask you this itself. question? But when you... they say they're not trying to win a popularity contest, I would call that a democratic election, Susan. Is that not correct? I'd call it, I'd call it get real, because taking lambs from their mother is a goddamn crime. Those lambs need their mother, and you are just being nasty. You goddamn... I, I can't talk to you. I'm so angry, Tim. Do you eat animals? See, Tim, what you, what, do you, do you, you can see animals? what's happening. If you're worried you about see, those animals... You can like, see the people you them, who, them, who are pushing you out of the way when you're trying to slow walk. No, 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 You're no, clearly no. not getting... Let, let, let Susan and Tim oh, talk. Oh, OK, OK. Come on. No, the thing is, Tim, you're, you're, you are intelligent. You're not behaving intelligent. And I'll tell you something. You will not win at the people's attention and good intention by what you're doing. As I say, you're behaving like a load of sport brats. Why don't you go to China and Africa and India? They can't even dispose of goddamn rubbish correctly they can't even recycle plastics never mind the bloody oil issue you idiot right well i don't live in china i live in the uk and the uk is not no, doing more than more than enough to um i mean down i listen to you down when down. you're talking i was listening to you now you're just interrupting me okay um, all right so like okay. yeah our, our government is not protecting us like i'm genuinely like sorry it's come to this i'm genuinely sorry that these acts of disruption are the only way these messages can get by like our media is completely failing us talk tv is owned and run by rupert murdoch but one you're, of on the dangerous show, people. you're on the show he's the your most opinion. one of the most dangerous yes because but of like, second. because of how those can acts. you say that we are talking about this issue i mean how much more do you want to talk about just stop oil extinction rebellion and and your issues I, until i've the seen government, nothing getting until the media the government coverage does their that job. you want him surely Mr. Spears. And annoying everyone in the process. Mr. Spears, there have been many very successful campaigns by protesters over the years that have led to significant change and the bettering of society. 
I think many people would accept that there may be an issue with climate change. However, you said we're not trying to win a popularity contest, which just goes to show your whole campaigning is fundamentally flawed because that's exactly what you should be doing. You should be winning Getting a popularity board, contest. Yeah. You would get people on board and you may just drive change. OK, listen, Tim, we're going to give you the final... We're going to give you the final 30 seconds. Go for it. Right, well, scientists have been screaming for the rooftops for the last 30, 40, 50 years that we need radical transformation. If the brightest minds studying anthropogenic climate change can't get through to the masses, then it makes sense that, like, we're not going to be popular. We have a media that's, like, more interested in fossil fuels and, like, keeping billionaires rich rather than protecting the planet. Um, Tim, we're, we're, we're going to have to yeah. stop you there because we're running out of time. But thank you very much thank for coming you. on. You have managed to have you say, despite the fact that you think you haven't. <laughs> And look, to be, to be fair, we love the fact that he's come on and, and said his piece.